In this lesson, we will do gallery formatting, which we will use in navigation. Gallery formatting, which we will use in navigation. So, file new, tablet layout. So, we will put a vertical gallery. Items. We'll do a table. Let's create four of these, two, three, four. Oh, why there is an indent, in, in, indent. One, two, three, four. First name is Tom. Last name is Burkett. Mike Smith. This our table is ready. <coughs> now why this? This item dot id id one first name colon this last name. Oh, see, a comma can make things bad. So I'll change this to first name and this one to last name and then we will put one small label just for the numbering. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, template fill property. So, on this, we'll look for the property template fill. Template fill. RGBA. Zero, comma, zero, comma. Two, fifty five. And this one, this is how much transparency we have to keep. So we'll put a mod this item dot id comma two divided by two RGB. This is blue color, and the transparency will be nothing here. It will be nothing here. Where I, uh, mm, if it is one, then it will bring blue, else it will have no color effect. Okay, so if we put this as zero, no effect. If we put this as one, full effect. So, more this will either bring zero or one because ID is one, two, three. So, Divided mod means divided by uh, 2 and then it will be 0. For this it will be 2 uh, and it will bring 1. The end result will be 1. For here the end result would be uh, 0 for here and it will be 1 here. So the color will take effect when it is 1. It will not take any effect when it is 0. So alternatingly, alternately it will be divisible by 2 or not. So this is one of the technique. Uh, then we can, uh, uh, you know, we can use another one. If mod of this item dot id of two is equal to zero, 
then you put RGBA red, green, blue, and transparent to 0.9. Otherwise, transparent. Transparent. zero then it will bring that color otherwise it will remain transparent so these are the two techniques to have transparent color now <coughs> now to hover when we move our mouse we want the color to change now there is no such thing so we will use a technique here label we'll put a label make it full wide and full height full width full height oh there is intake half here we don't need the text we want text to be blank to be blank so this is that label now text is blank hover fill where is hover fill hover fill we will make hover fill to R, G, B, A, red type, 0, 0, 0 0.6. So, this transparency effect. Now, hopefully, this will have some effect. So, see. So, this is how we uh, incorporate that mouse hover that is mouse move over effect hover means mouse is moved on top of it so this is how we implement this so we have seen two coloring techniques but here we have this number one two three four what if it, if we have a collection that doesn't have a number so we will see that in our next video but for now this is what we have accomplished we have accomplished an alternating color for the gallery and the transparent blue transparent blue and uh, uh, we have uh, incorporated the hover uh, color by a label this label and then uh, our data source had this number so we were able to accomplish one divided by two so alternating and if uh, if this is not in the order numbering is not in the order this will not work so if i have uh, uh, let's say gallery items it uh, items and if we uh, put here once again two of them if i do we don't have restrictions so if we have two here then it will fail you no know, alternating the effect is there so how to incorporate that when we don't have this number we will see it in the next video for now um, that's it uh, for our demo i have some issue here um, table something went wrong idea <laughs> screen one should be just one and uh, that's it so we will uh, cover the uh, uh, the uh, alternating color without the id in next week.